All right, there's nothing that drives me crazier than going to a Twitch or a YouTube stream and you're going between them and you see all these people have lack of consistency in their audio and it is ruining their streams and they don't even know it. They just think that oh, I adjusted this slider and that slider and this kind of is okay. I'm gonna go over a foolproof way that you can absolutely guarantee that you're gonna have great audio no matter what once and for all, so let's get into it. Okay, so check this out. This is not uncommon to see. You're gonna have your game audio, you're gonna have Discord audio, you're gonna have mic, you're gonna have music, whatever it is, you're gonna have a whole bunch of it. And if you haven't already split your audio, that's one thing you absolutely need to do so you can disable your desktop audio. So you have control over each source instead of controlling one thing, because that's almost impossible to do. So let's start with one thing, right? The microphone itself. Now, I made a video specifically about how to make your microphone sound great, but the one thing about the microphone is that there are filters that you need to be able to put in place, whether it's a gain, an expander, or a limiter, an equalizer, compressor, and a limiter. But let's focus on the limiter part because the other part was saved for the other video. We want to make sure that this is going to peak. Some people say negative three, some people say negative six, whatever it is, you're going to end up a little bit higher. This way, your microphone will reach a certain level without completely clipping and sounding really bad. So if you haven't already done your microphone, that's one thing you absolutely need to do. But let's focus on the limiter because this is the key principle of everything. So if your voice is at negative six decibels, everything should be balanced around the volume of your voice. And by balance, I'm talking about the other sources. No matter what game you're playing, you're going to be streaming that audio. But a lot of people, they just like to drag the slider and we're gonna go in and we're actually gonna set up filters. Now, if you don't wanna set up any other filter, just add a limiter in. Now, for most people, the game audio, especially if you have your microphone up around that negative six decibels, around negative 25 is what's going to be a pretty healthy balance between your voice and the game audio. And this really prevents the game audio from overtaking your microphone. It's that simple. Just make sure that this is a cap. It's basically a ceiling on how loud it can go. Do not change it on the audio mixer portion. Go into filters and add a limiter. Now you're gonna see there's a lot of other things in here. We're gonna save this for the other ones. Right, this next one's a big one because if you're doing any type of collaboration gaming and you have somebody on a voice call, you're probably doing it through Discord or at least somewhere else. Now the filters here are a little bit different. If we're putting a limiter on the other ones to be around negative 25 or so. When you're, I'm in a call, I want the person that I'm on a call with to be around the same voice as me, not louder than me, and certainly not a lot quieter. And the problem with Discord is, is that not everybody's microphone is going to have the same consistency. So instead of trying to balance it around one person, we're going to go through a few filters to balance it around everybody. But first, we're going to make sure that limiter is there. Now, the limiter will come last here. But one thing that we want to do, because some people are going to be quieter and some people are going to be louder. It's very rare to have friends that all speak at the same volume. So what you can do is if somebody's coming through quieter, you can add a little bit of gain, basically adding volume. But this is a great way to boost people up. We're going to be looking at a compressor. If you are playing exciting games, if you're playing with other people that like to yell, you do not want them of negatively affecting your stream because they're yelling and then it's piercing people's ears. Now, while we have a limiter on there and it's putting a cap, what we want to do is we want to squish or take down those high points of a voice using a compressor. Now, negative 18 is is normally going to be your default. Basically, you could leave this at default. The ratio is how much it affects it. Some people are gonna be around the three to four range, but just try it at 10 and see what it sounds like. Else start at three or four and go from there. Yes, we've added a little bit of volume if necessary. A compressor, we absolutely should put in there to make sure that we have that threshold to where it kicks in so it doesn't pierce. And then we have a limiter. Same thing for the music. Now, for a couple of general principles, if you were doing production for a video that you're putting on YouTube or somewhere else, the general principle is you want to start that limiter or that cap of the difference in decibels to be around negative 25 to negative 30. So if your normal talking voice is going to be around negative 10, negative 6, and you've worked on your microphone, you would probably start at around negative 30. That's what you're going to do for background music. Now, if you want your music to be a little bit more prevalent in your stream, obviously you want to take that up. But keep in mind that you're going to be competing with that game audio. For some of you that are going to be playing shooters, you're probably not listening to music and for others that are playing more relaxed games, you're going to have a healthy balance of both. So make sure and have your limiter set to what is appropriate for your stream type. So if you want that music to be a little bit louder and the game volume doesn't add as much flavor, then just switch the balance of them by starting with those key principles. Bad audio is one of the main reasons people leave streams, especially their first time there. But if you haven't already, check out this video on how to get your microphone sounding as good as possible. Or if you're looking for more in-depth, check out the playlist on the screen.